If you've been following along with our Bago day trip, we've just finished with Old Bottle Butt in Burrowan State Forest. And now we're heading north along Bago Road for only a minute or so before we need to make a sharp turn into Milligan's Road. From here we'll continue our journey along a reasonable dirt road to Bago Vineyards. There's been some recent logging along this road, so be cautious of any log trucks that might be around. Since it was first settled by Europeans in the early 1800s, forestry has been a major industry in this region, with nearby Warhope just 20 minutes away being known as the Timber Town. And although what you might see in here logging operations might not look pretty, the latest technologies are used by the industry to ensure the forest environment is maintained while supplying renewable timber resources to the community. Sustainable forestry techniques mean that our forests remain full of trees, provide habitats for a host of native plants and animals, and are great places for visitors to explore, just as we've been doing today. almost there, so I suppose I'd better tell you a little bit more about the place we're visiting today. Bago Maze and Winery is a family owned business, with Jim and Kay Mobs having grown grapes for fine wine production here since 1985. Their ancestors well, they've got a long history of grape growing in the Hastings River region, dating back to the late 19th century. And today, 
Albago Vineyards continues with this fine family tradition, producing some of the most revered wines the Hastings River region has to offer. Today's a special day on the Bago calendar. It's the second Sunday of the month. And for many, many years, Bago has invited people to come along and listen to music in the vineyards. The music's on from approximately 11 through to three. So bring a picnic or buy a cheese platter from the cellar door and come along and enjoy yourselves. That's what we're going to do today. Vago Vineyards is open from 9am till 5pm every day except Christmas Day and the last time for May's entry is at 4pm. Like me, you're probably wondering what the yellow crop is. I eventually found out that it's mustard. And as an added feature for visitors to Bago, there's the winter mustard maze in that field on the left. That maze is designed to provide an indulgence to the senses. You can take a contemplative stroll along its path to the centre and immerse yourself in a bright yellow field, the sweet fragrance and the perpetual buzz of bees. Just follow all those red flags to the winter mustard maze. While you're in the mustard maze, make sure you stay on the paths and don't push through the mustard. Because if you do, you'll get covered in caterpillar and grasshopper poo. Lovely. Mustard is grown at Vago during winter as a natural biofumigant, acting as a natural pesticide for the vines and the farm. The mustard also adds some much needed colour throughout the winter months. As expected, our first activity for the day was to attack the giant hedge maze. Within the two kilometres of pathways here, you've got two main objectives. Get to each of the two towers, and then find your way out. Good luck with that. <laughs> and while you're lost in there, well, you might be able to help farmer mobs find all of the chickens that have run off, because there's at least another 13 or so things that you can find in there, so... Is it going to be lucky for you? <laughs> well, have fun finding out and don't get too lost. This maze is going to be easy. So where, where did we go wrong? We turned left. No, because then we'll go to a dead end again. No, we're going left now. We go this way, then go right. No, this is... This is not, what, this is not the way we came in. Is it? We could go that way. Where are you, Gracie? Right over here. Oh, I thought you were over the fence somewhere. You think we found a tower? Guys, you need to hurry up. We're already on the other side. 
Oh, we haven't found a tower. Dead end that way? Yep. Hey, Grace, I got one. Well, that's the good thing about having a um, somebody who runs fast. Saves the adults the long walk. Definitely a dead end. Oh, we found something a ding a ding a ding a ding. That means we have to go back this way. I'm guessing the bridge is the next um, the next one. Well, that's where we, that's where we go then. If that's no, it isn't. I'm hoping this will get to us to the tower. Well, the tower is the objective. First objective to get to the tower. Yay! <laughs> My goodness! Somehow we managed to find our way in, in through all of that. I told you this is easy. You have to follow me. I'm good at it. You are amazing! Nice. Sorry for all the people I let down, I'm in jail. Um, what do you think I'm in jail for? Being a pest, a no, serial for killing, pest. For, ki for killing parents with humour. I don't know. Yeah, typical criminal. She doesn't know why she's in. Wait, no, I know why. I know why. I Bicycle know why. crimes. Dad, come back! I know why. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of Bago Maze. We hope you had fun and got a little lost. Oh, here's trouble. Good luck with the baby. Oh, there is no. This is the closest we have to snow yeah, sledding. Roll down the hill. Talk to your mother. I'm Is it? It's just gonna make you famous, Dad. No. Oh. Well, we weren't the only ones who were enjoying the perfect picnic lunch on the lawns at Bago Vineyard this beautiful Sunday. And of course, remember, if you don't bring your own lunch, there are plenty of cheese platters available for sale at the cellar door. And this was our outlook for the picnic. You know, I just can't think of a more perfect place to be today. But what's that? Something's caught my attention, and it's Spirit in the Sky. Woohoo! In case you can't remember that one, Spirit in the Sky is a song written and originally recorded by Norman Greenbaum and released way back in late 1969. 
back when, you know, Noah was a lad. Or at least I was. <laughs> Let's see how Kingy goes with this song, eh?
short break, back in a flash. Cheers. Oh shucks, it's time to go. Well, I tell you, that was one of the better days I've had out recently. The winter weather was perfect. The venue, totally awesome. The crowd, <laughs> well, what crowd? But just a good number of people of all ages enjoying themselves and making the most of what life has to offer. And the music from our local lad Gary King was absolutely terrific. Our picnic? Yum, must do more of those. And of course, the Bago Hedge Maze. Well, that was so good, we did it twice. I'm so glad that we had our own maze runner to scout ahead and save me from some walking. So, that's it for part three of our Bago day trip. We've got some time left, so we're headed home along another less travelled road to check out the countryside at the back of Herons Creek. Why don't you join us? Now it's time to say goodbye to Jim and all his kin. And they would like to thank you all for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back again to this locality to have another helping of the hospitality. Bago Wines. Music. Amazing. You'll come back now, you hear? Too much? Nah. <laughs>